Posture Bagu family, welcome back to the channel, you guys. I'm happy to have you guys along with me for another awesome video. And as you guys can already tell, I'm sporting and rocking the Freddy Funko tee. And this one here is a Funko Fanatic Philippines exclusive tee, um, exclusive to the Philippines. And by the title of the video, as well as the t shirt, you guys already know where I'm going towards. And this will be my top five. Um, Freddy Funkos in my collection. So I have to say, uh, me and Pippity, one of our favorite lines to collect is of course Freddy Funko because um, he's a character that could be anything or anyone, like in any genre. Wow, there's someone screaming outside, you guys. So, <laughs> so me and Pippity love collecting Freddy Funko. You know, he's such an awesome, unique character, especially he means so much to Funko. So I'm gonna go ahead and run down my top top five Freddies. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start the video. So before we go and go before we go and dive into the top five, I want to go ahead and show you guys some awesome pickups that me and Pippi have recently done on some cool Freddy Funkos. And for the first Freddy Funko, I think um, if you guys are keen on collecting Freddy Funko. This one here is Freddy Funko as a plush, you guys. And as you guys can see, he is such a miniature sized plush. I love the design. And that he, he's it, only four inches. He's four inches. I think so. Maybe. But he does come with like the plush line um, tag. And of course, it's Freddy Funko in his crown, as well as his red sneakers, his jeans, and of course, a white button up tee. So this will be. An awesome, awesome um, pickup for you guys if you ever have the chance to pick up this plush. I really enjoy this Funko item. I think there's a big one like that, the same size as Santa, a Freddy Santa. Oh, Freddy Santa, but that one's like the 20 inch one. Like the other plush that we do have on deck. Wait, let's see. would be this one you guys so i think there is a bigger version <laughs> i still can't believe how big this freddy is you guys so this is freddy funko as santa and this is the size of a small plush as you can see there is a big difference and this one is the xl version i think there is an xl version of this one but it'll be this size so this will be two cool plushes to have if you guys love freddy funko and um uh, one uh, one thing that Pippi had got for me from her most recent trip to the Philippines, she got me this awesome uh, Freddy Funko tee. And this will be, a, a, once again, Freddy Funko as Santa, and he is saying um, Merry Christmas. So That's how you say Merry Christmas in Tagalog. You say Malagaya Piaso. Malagaya Pasco. <laughs> Malagaya Pasco. So this is the awesome tea, you guys. So that is Freddy Funko. And to kick off the, um, to kick off, I guess from, are we going to be from um, our number one Freddy or number, No, least to Le best. Least to best. Top, so five, four, three, two, one. Least to best. Okay, so I'm gonna go with um, number five. So for my number five, Freddy Funko in my list would be um, one of my favorite characters. If you guys have been keeping up, keeping up with us, is that me and Pippi, we love Jolly Bee so much, and like you know, like we just do. We just do. <laughs> like we just enjoy the fast food chain, and this will be on. Um, Freddy Funko as Jolly Bee, you guys. So, what makes this particular Freddy so special to us um, is that this was our first time ever opening up a mystery Freddy Funko package. So, they release these particular Freddies on fun days. fun days. So, you have a chance to get like Freddy Funko in a mystery box, and he could be three different things. So, of course, Not for a lot. But you get three different ones. You could be a lot of characters, but you can only you're allowed to get three in the mystery box. And of all the characters that Freddy was back in twenty twenty, 
Yeah. 2021. Uh, 2021. Me and Pivi, when they when they had revealed that Freddie Funko was gonna be Jollibee, me and Pivi were flipping out because like we really need to have this Freddie in the collection. So this was our, and I and I can't I can't I guess can't tell you enough. This was like a first time or luck magic. We just happened to get um, Freddie as Jollibee on our on my. Mystery I'm box. Annoyed. I'm my mystery box. So this one here was like an awesome, awesome Freddy for us. I I can't tell you guys how much we love Jollibee, and Jollibee as Freddy, Freddy Funko as Jollibee makes it even much better. So this starts up as number five. Number five. All right. And um, for my number four spot, for my for my number fourth spot of my Freddy Funko collection will be Freddy Funko as Jack Skeleton, you guys. And I had to, you guys cannot tell me this Freddy Funko does isn't one of the coolest to have ever released by Funko. There was something about like the pre-era of Funko, especially 2016 and back, when they released Freddy Funko in like crazy, crazy like character designs like Jack Skeleton, Batman, Ghost Rider and much more. I just think that era of Funko was like crazy and I just love like the aesthetic, especially like with old school Freddy Funkos. And um um for 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 this particular Freddy Funko as Jack Skellington, um when I first started out he was the second Freddy Funko that I really wanted. And um I remember saving up and having the opportunity to find one to purchase. Um, it was like a really like awesome uh, like experience to like bring this Jack Skellington home with us. Um, I just think that once again he's like one of the coolest Frey Funkos to release, and yeah, I just I just really enjoy it. For the third, no wait, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh man, so we're, we're, we're narrowing it down to the last three. This one here is kind of hard to choose which one, uh, which one comes third. Um, okay, okay, so for my third Freddy, for my number three spot on my Freddy Fungo collection will be on number 23. And this one here, you guys, is, um, uh, Freddy Funko, Freddy Funko as Joker. And what makes this one so uh, special to me, um, more so on Jack Skellington, was that when I first start, started um, Freddy Funko collecting, or when I first started um, collecting Funko, was that I never knew who Freddy Funko was. Like, I didn't know who he was, like, or what character he came from. And when I f realized that he was the mascot, of Funko, you know, I was like, you know, that's, that's pretty cool. But this one right here, you guys, was the one that like changed everything for me. Like, this was the first ever Freddy Funko, like, not first ever to like collect and buy, but like, this was this one was like one of the most expensive ones that I first purchased. And what, and this, maybe I cannot speak English. This, <laughs> this. This Freddy Funko was the Freddy Funko that I really wanted. And I remember saving up for this Freddy Funko and like purchasing it, purchasing, purchasing, purchasing it for the collection. And it was like such a surreal moment for me because um, I don't know, like this was like the most ever I ever spent on the Funko Pop when I first started. And the memories behind this was that I just remember like seeing people like post it up in the groups, in the Facebook groups. And I would think to myself, like, there's no way I could ever have this Freddy Funko, like, like, you know, it's just out of my reach, and, like, you know, I think it's cool, you know, like, I really like it, the design, the colors, especially it's Joker, like, I just thought it was really cool, and then being able to, like, save up, and, like, being on, like, of course, everyone's, like, trip to, like, fun finding their most prized pop, you know, I remember I was looking so hard for this Freddy Funko, and I was able to get it at a good price. So I have to say like this one right here was like 
the start of like many things like great like for the channel and for instagram so this particular freddy funko was like really special to me especially like like i guess like you know like like it's just it's like a goal to be like it was like a goal of mine like i'm a sick goal like this is this is the freddy funko that i'm gonna save and purchase on my own and i was able to get them so i, I have to say like this one was like a really like special moment when i first got them all right so three down two more to go you guys so for the second freddy funko in this uh list of top freddy funkos would be social media freddy you guys so you know this freddy might not be as much as like or you know as like it's like big as the other three is that this one right here was like a really like special thing for me and Pivoty, especially like how we started in the Funko game. Um, I remember um, uh, the fir our first ever YouTube video of me and Pivoty um, have done was that I had walked into my local GameStop and I had purchased like mystery boxes. And I told myself like, you know, it would be such a, a fun experience to like docu documentate like our journey in Funko and like collecting and just seeing like what Funko had to offer so it started with like you know I'm just go ahead and do these mystery boxes and unbox it and like see my like reaction onto what I got and I was also I have to say you guys I was really camera shy if you guys watched my first videos I had like you know my hand model hands you know like doing the thing and now I'm like on the camera and stuff like that so it started with that and then me and Pippi and we started getting really more serious into it like you know we're gonna document it documentate our journey document. document even further so we started our own instagram and you know we started posting up like our little cool like little pics of our pops like in different locations and i gotta say you guys like me and pippi were like like <laughs> finding like spots around houston trying to find like the perfect picture and you know, like you know, say maybe like you know, like the the struggles of like you know, I had to take the perfect shot for it. And then what's the most wild thing was that um, it was April of last year, February, mm -hmm. where it was lookalike day. Was lookalike day? Yeah, national lookalike day. It was challenge uh, national lookalike day, right? And I remember um, we had the perfect pop. We had the perfect pop with the perfect picture. Um, and uh, me and Pippi had. Didn't we buy that pop just for that picture? Yeah, we because we thought it was because it was newly released at the time. It was the health. It was a, it was the start of the pa pandemic, and everything was crazy. And like I know, it like, wasn't the start. It started twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. That was twenty twenty. Was it twenty twenty one? We won that. But that yeah, but that was like a kind of like a new little pop. New pop. Like uh, I'm like we should get this so we can do the vision. The yeah, picture. like it'll be like a good idea to take a picture with it, and then all of a sudden, like um, Funko had messaged us. Like I can't tell you guys. Like at the time, I was working in the lab, and I had saw the notification that Funko had sent us. Like we won the mm -hmm. follow challenge. I ran all the way to find Pivy. I was like, Pivy, look, do you see what happened on Instagram? And they're like, Yeah, Pivy said something. Like, yeah, we know we like won, and it was just so crazy, you guys, because like. He was smiling like a creeper. Like, this was, like, 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 the biggest thing, like, we ever done, like, I guess, Funko-related, like, for the channel. I, I mean, for Instagram, really, like, to be shouted, like, oh, we won for the day challenge. And it was, like, so real, and I was, like, you know, this is crazy, like, you know, like, this is, like, the start to, like, many great things again. And um, I remember, if you win the challenge, you get a Funko Pop and a prototype. And this was the Freddy that we did get from that particular um, package. I have to say, like, this one here has, like, a lot of memories for us because this was the first ever shout-out from Funko. And, like, you know, like, A, like, we're taking really good pictures, so I was really happy about that. Mm -hmm. So this one here is my number two. And for the final Freddy Funko, for the final Freddy Funko in this list, um, this Freddy Funko here, I think I'm being like more sentimental for, to be like this one right here, 
is the very first Freddy Funko that we have ever collected. And this one right here was uh, a tourist Freddy from the headquarters in LA, you guys. We did a video on that. Or and, LA like Oh haul. yeah. <laughs> we did like a LA haul and we thought it was cool to have like the little suitcase with like the other Hollywood exclusives. We've never been though. And we've never been there <laughs> ourselves yet, but we had some family to like ship out some pops. And um this was like our very first Freddy phone call and we thought, you know, this is so cool, like oh we got some exclusive pops from the LA store and of course you know it was Freddy Funko uh, that we had also wanted from the store and I have to say like this was how it all started with this particular Freddy Funko and um, yeah we came a long way for the really so this does complete my top five Freddy Funkos in my in my collection guys I have to say it was such a good time I'm um, going down memory lane looking back on these certain pieces like how me and Pivoty first started our fun times together as well as our adventures and struggles in trying to acquire some of these pieces and the memories behind them um, I have to say um, I want to give a big shout out to Ketones of Fun for selecting me to to do this particular challenge so Justin and Keton Thank you for um, selecting me. This is my top five Freddy Funko. So to continue this trend, I'm going to nominate three other YouTubers to, um, I guess, nominate, I guess, to showcase their top five Freddy Funkos in their collection. And if you guys don't have many Freddy Funkos, uh, many Freddy Funkos in y'all's collection, um, you guys can also do a, a top five Freddy Funkos that you would like to have or top five Freddy Funkos that you think are the top in I guess the Funko game right now so for the first YouTuber I'm going to nominate the lovely uh, Christina from uh, the BK channel BK Fifths BK channel um, Sassy Cajun and the awesome duo from Tills Pop so you guys, if you guys can do a top five Freddy Funko in y'all's collection or a top Freddy Funko that you would like to have or you think is the top five Freddy Funko in the Funko game right now, you guys can do a video for us. We would love to see it as well as a YouTube community. If you guys enjoyed the video, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. This does help you boy out tremendously. And follow us on Instagram. Uh, it's, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. TikTok. And TikTok. We don't have Twitter. Uh, no Twitter. <laughs> and until next time, I'm your boy, Pa Shabaka Dude, and I'll see you guys later.